Hello, I am going to show you how to configure RAID 5 on Smart Array T440 AR controller uh, on Trollian DL380 G9 servers, the latest servers. Uh, the Smart Array T440 AR controller is basically an embedded slot on the server, on the G9 servers from HP. Uh, I have uh, three uh, hard disk here, 300 GB SAS uh, hard drives. Uh, this is what I'm going to configure at the moment. Okay, when I switch on the server in the boot menu after initialization, you will see the boot menu, uh, the, the status bar is going on. Here, uh, you will see all the smart array, battery, controller, smart array, all the tips or all the types are on here. Uh, in order to configure your smart array, you have to go to F9, as a settings, I'm going to press F9 here. When I press the F9, you see the F9 system utility is on here. So we have to wait for a few seconds uh, to come up for the status bar uh, to get him over. Okay, there is an error because I have connected only one power into, into the machine. So that's why it's showing one error. I'm ignoring that. Okay. Uh, when I go to the system utility screen, the first option is system configuration. Uh, this is what we are going to uh, reach now. If I go to system configuration, I will see uh, embedded right here, which is this one, embedded right, uh, smart array T440 AR controller. I go there. Here it will show you what is the uh, uh, detail about the uh, uh, smart array control. Uh, the, the uh, firmware and release date and etc. Uh, we don't want to go with anything with that. Instead of that, we simply go to uh, option like exit and launch HP Smart Array Smart Storage Administration. Click on it. Uh, start loading the uh, Smart Array Administration page. It's very simple software, unlike before, the G3, G4 and all, uh, we need to use the additional software to boot with and uh, uh, configure the right. Settings are similar settings, concept is the same, but this is basically connected to the, uh, to the embedded system, so that it is quite easy to load and work on it. Yeah, still it is booting, it's going on, we are almost reaching to the software, there we go, okay, here you will see the, the array, array configuration, as we discussed, I have 300 GB hard drive, SAS HDD3, uh, I'm going to configure HDD, uh, these three HDD, the, these are the three HDDs as a RAID 5 control, RAID 5, uh, the controller is Smart Array T4410, a 440 AR controller, embedded slot. When I click on it, um, I will see all the hard drive, uh, what I have here. For example, if I click on more information here, it will show you the, show you the hard drive detail here. At the same time, Okay, if I go for action in Smart Array T440 AR, uh, it will show you the controller devices details. I have three unassigned drives, the one, two, three drives, 300 uh, GB times three, and similar like a physical devices, one, two, three. When you click on it, you will see the device detail. Uh, you will just note that device configuration type showing unassigned here because we have not configured anything for write. All the three drive will show like this. And logical drive, there is no logical drive now. The logical drive, after you create the RAID 5, the whole OLEM will be created as a logical drive. That's all about the logical drive. Uh, when I go to the unassigned drive here, I will show all the three drives here. Then I can select all the drive here, then click on uh, 
uh, create array. In the same way, if you want to identify the drive, like uh, click on this and identify on the drive, it will show you the light, uh, just like um, to know that which drive is working on it, something like that. So the, for the moment, I am just putting the select all of all the three drives and create, create, on, create array. Uh, I have three options here, where is RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 5. Um, we are going to configure RAID 5, but quickly I will show you something. If you click on RAID 0 here, you will see all the drive space has become single drive, which is 833 MB, GB. Uh, in case if you go for RAID 1, that gone as like this, one drive, it has selected one drive now, as a drive, uh, RAID 1 mirroring. And if you go to RAID 5, that's what we are going to do, uh, you will see the size has become two hard drive space and one drive has become parity. So, and also you will see the, the, the strip size, uh, what is the size we need to select it. By default, it will go to 256 KB. If you go, about to, if you go on top of 1024 and all, it will become slow, the RAID controller will become slow. So, always go for 256 KB for this type size. At the same time, we are going to have 32 bit, uh, 32 track system only. And you will see the uh, the total size, I want to become all the three drive as a logical drive so that uh, I can make a different partition on it and all the three drive can be utilized. So this the three sizes become a two drive size now, which is almost 600 GB. Um, then once we select all this thing, we'll go for okay. Also, I create selected as a caching. Caching is something like it will if if it all your control uh, your power gone or something like that. The caching information will be written on the caching position. All right. So I'm going to create as a create logic drive here. Okay. So this already shown here. Status is okay. It's been done and the total size is 833 which is two drive size and physical drivers are and logical drive only 550 GB available uh, and the 300 GB times 3 as a physical drive okay when you do this you can click on simply click on finish the three drivers have been configured so it will it has disappeared from unassigned drives instead it's going to physical drive here and when you click on you will see the uh, this being allocated to array one uh, as a logical one in array logical one and the size here the same thing for all the three drives and when you go to logical devices here uh, you will see the drive c is here uh, and the the parity is under uh, is going on queued because it is it's under parity is going on it's the final configuration is going on so all the three drives are here it's been configured now as a single volume which is logical data 1 with 558.3 GB. So in case if you want to delete the logical drive, you can simply click on uh, log uh, delete drive and click on yes, it's automatically deletes. Uh, for example, if you click on yes here, uh, it will remove everything from the machine and you see the unassigned drives shows all the three drive here uh, as a unassigned drives. Okay, and once you finish your can, you can click on close here and click on OK here. And if you click on here in this button, you get two options, whether reboot or shutdown. I'm going to shut down this. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.